Alright, so we've made it. Oh, we've made it. Ready for our lovely orphan boat trip. We're going on a lovely orphan boat trip. Yeah. That's it, man. I'm basically a breathing, living ghost trying to pull myself back into my body. Cheers, mate. It means a lot. Yeah, that's all right, because bloody hell. I'm like a living, breathing ghost right now. I'm trying, I'm a spirit trying to pull myself back into my body. <laughs> yeah. It's hard hat, okay? Yeah. 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 Right, in that case, my name is Josh, and at the back, that's Dan. What were you tall guys for today? Safety before we... <laughs> <laughs> Anymore, I'll be in the water. I'll be in the water. I'm out. <laughs> There we go, here we are officially. Watch out, watch out, she wolf my right bloody guys, eyes. At this point you are probably wondering what on earth you're doing down a dark dingy tunnel with a guy just met. Yeah. Wow. Well, I've it's had more concerning things. Is there a means of Plus, 18th century lead mine that started in 1771 and ended in 1791? No, it only lasted for 20 years. And that's because it was a massive financial disaster. The boss put roughly £12,000 into the mine back then. And he got three thousand pounds out. So in today's money, it's about a loss of eight million pounds, and that explains the extortionate ticket prices upstairs. <laughs> so I'm trying to make the money back. I'm going to tell my boss I can send that. Yes, mate. It's all. No, there's no one here at the moment. Apart from there is one vein of lead. Now uh, we are coming up to the first vein of lead that the mine has found. It's called the Little Winster vein. <laughs> <laughs> right then, guys, we'll pull the red on your right hand side after the halfway hand side is the bellows hole. Just remember that for future reference. Now, after the bellows hole comes one of my favourite parts of the tour. It's a great arch. Once you get through here, guys, please feel free to switch your grip either side. It's quite a lot warmer than the rock around. That's for a very unique and special purpose. I've even been told healing properties and anti aging. Nice. Feels nice. Yes, brilliant. Now, those of you that didn't touch the wall, probably for the best. Those of you that did. Oh. Oh god. Ah, What's happening now? It's a bit warmer. It's also really slimy. That's because that was oh, the foundation for right. the male toilets. Please feel oh. free to wipe your hands on the person next to you. So you've touched yeah. piss. <laughs> you've touched uh, jewelry. I'm next to the bow. Don't worry, it's not the toilets. It's actually the second vein of lead that the mine has found. It's called the long cliff vein. It's actually directly below the long cliff. Jeremy will get his wife to Yeah, brilliant. It actually comes from this. Now the women get to the front of the boat, their backs pressed against it, their feet pressed against the ceiling, pushing the boats backwards and forwards. Like so, having to try and score anything for anything the men may need, back and forth, down the shoulders. Now, let me two side at the back of the boat if you can't see if you're legging it because it actually looks like I'm talking out of my arse. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. Now, as you guys see, the uh, cylindrical grooves directly above you all over the ceiling. They weren't just using pickaxes, they were using explosives. There's 15 of these grooves every 8 inches. Now they take about an hour each to dig out. After that they put in black powder and secure everything with a wax bung. Then put in a straw fuse. Once the straw fuse was lit, the miners had 20 seconds to get away from the blast. 
20 seconds. I mentioned earlier the halfway house was used as a safety hole. It was used as a safety hole to get away from the incoming rock. And what travelled towards the miners at roughly 500 miles an hour? The further they dug behind me, the further the miners had to run back to the halfway house to use their safety hole to get away from the incoming rock. So they realised very Jesus. <laughs> so uh, we've gone and done the maths. That hole was the same size as a London flat. You realise very quickly, you're not going to fit anyone in there. The miners realise this, they just went back to their boss, asked him if they could continue digging to make the hole bigger. He said, no, you're wasting my time, find lead. That's exactly what they did. Vein of lead coming up on your guys' left hand side in the next three seconds. It's called the poor man's vein of lead. It's called the poor man's vein because they only found half a bucket's worth of lead in here. It's also home to Derbyshire's smallest and only beach. It's <laughs> low tide. Half a bucket's worth of lead was found in there. It doesn't really make much sense for the size of the hole. It's actually quite considerably bigger than the hole previously. That's because they lied to their boss. They just told him there was more lead in there than there actually was. So they could continue digging. Luckily enough, the boss never found out he was lied to. So you allowed them to continue to dig. Okay then, guys, Bart's through, we're going to get back on the boat now. Make sure you get on, just watch your step, watch your head. Still closed because of COVID. One of the places is called Tony Gorge. Ready, ready, up here, on the left hand side of the wall, there's the potholes of mine. It's put in, it got too steep to put a ladder. That is the original ladder. It's over 200 years old, made of solid oak. Behind the two boulders at the very top is the only bit of lead the miners found in the cabin itself. About three buckets worth of that. Very disappointed, needing more lead. They dug another tunnel down here to try and find some. Down there, guys. Now that is the Far Canal. The miners dug for 260 metres and then broke into 14 miles of natural cave systems. Now the miners didn't like going down the natural cave systems, leaving they were dug out by the devil himself. So they didn't like going down there. Now behind me over here is a piece of the stones in the cavern. At the moment, I can't really see anything. Let there be light. Oh, no. oh, wow. Now, uh, that is Speedwell Cabin's bottomless pit. The time lights are the bottomless pit and the depth of it on the way back. Now, I'll tell you something quite important to do with the pit. You guys look directly in front of you at the bottomless pit, about chest height, parallel. There's a line running across the left hand side of the wall. It's on the right as well, but it's more prominent on the left. Yeah, oh, that's good then. There we are officially. There we are officially. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Are you guys up for a week on the Until Friday, is it? No, no, Wednesday. When did you come up? Was it? Yes, sir. Very nice. It's a short break then, I guess. Oh, because the floor's shiny. <laughs> Right then guys, so in the next few seconds the boat will pull into the halfway house. Uh, before it does, I uh, might ask, has anyone got any questions at this point?
or any personal problems they want to share with the group. <laughs> <laughs> How many people or yeah. how many so about fifty-five to sixty people would have worked in the tunnel at one time just because of how cramped it was, but its entire lifespan about hundred and fifty people worked down here. Yeah, I'll fish it under me there. Get over here. Back out from his hypothermia. Alright. Where are we off to now then? Just down here. Nice! Under his near death experience. Anyone want to climb up there? Nah. No. <laughs> Is that near where we've been? Yeah. I think it might be. Uh. Oh, he's got his peanut butter cups. Do you have a jam on? 